Well, so far, a little bit of a tough one. And Miracle actually even able to push back Tim's here. The snake is going to go out. Miracle diving for this one. Wants the kill bad. Is going to get it. Taking a good bit of harassment on his way out. But does look like he's going to try and turn now with GH there. You got to be careful. But Beastmaster's getting a lot. Almost level 5 right now. Oh, Medusa again getting gone on in the mid lane. TP coming in. Does look like it might dissuade Miracle from going any further. A couple right clicks and, well, triple remnant. Man, getting very aggro. Takes down Rior. He was not expecting that. A bottom lane going into a tower kill after killing the Beastmaster is certainly ideal. My control is a hero that you want to limit in this game a lot. Oh my god, ulti used in the mid lane, and it's going to be able to stun them up for the moment. Burrow Strike also going to connect now onto Kuroki. He's taking a good bit of damage and does look like he's going to fall there. Miracle in the meantime being slowed, but decides to turn, able to take down one killing spree for this Ember at this early stage in the game. Wisp had a DD if you didn't notice. It's really hard to actually see that he has DD. Snake being a huge issue. Cuckoo getting dived in mid again. They are not stopping. No rest for the Wicked. Miracle is just controlling him in this mid lane. No real threat for Miracle right now. He didn't even have a safety remnant. He wanted his triple remnant just in case he wanted to kill the Medusa. Yeah, just completely dominant performance here. They are going to use the roar down here on the bottom and trying to turn it around so that way Matumbo Man does not drop. They relocate in, going to jump forward. Ember, just a monster at this stage of the game. They take down two, double kill for Miracle, and in not really a ton of fear of going down. Thinks about even turning back onto them. 3,300 versus 3,800. That's crazy. He has he has uh, Arcane and Urn already. Uh, they roared the cur here a little bit. Uh, of a kerfuffle there, mind control, wanting to go for the style play, but we'll be punished for it. We're starting to see a trend where maybe it's not worth it. Oh god, Tim's yet again, just gonna go for the quick TP, but the remnant, that's a double to find the kill, and... Well, Kuroki also stole Bloodlust, so if you thought Miracle was scary before, even more so now. Oh, what, what to your eyes is, is sort of the main... Well, we might need to hold on to that thought, as it looks like they're gonna try and chase. Swap back in, pulling in Kuro, and yeah, he is going to end up dropping there, but they take one in return. And everyone just forced to run away from this Ember oh. Spirit. Oh, nice little play there wow. by Raven. Seeing the opportunity and ends up capitalizing on it and now going to get chased down a little bit further. Remnant able to dodge it for the moment. Raven on very low HP, 10 in fact, and Miracle just can't quite run him down. He could go for the Knife of Roche. Actually, he's going to fake it and head off towards the north. So it looks like Miracle is going to back out in a way. Raven really well played, and now they're controlling up that Ember Spirit. If they can bring him down, it would be so huge. He gets the chains, walks away. Everybody on low HP here, but they're not going to end up falling as, oh, Miracle jumps back in. He takes down Rior. The relocate in, that's going to heal up Miracle a little bit further. And now the chase for Sam H wants to find him. Earn keeping him alive. He gets the chains. He gets the kill. Double for Miracle. Godlike is an understatement. Oh, this would be a really big kill for them. They find Matumba Man, good bit of damage coming in, and they are going to take down that one. Now looking for more GH, able to tether to some creeps, but Raven has a haste turn, so he's going to try and chase this, and it does look like he's at least going to be able to find him. The chase should result in a kill as GH goes down, so a killing spree for Raven, much needed for TNC. It's just... It is strength. It gives him a lot of HP. If he's in strength treads plus the Lincolns, that's what, like 20th strength? Oh, good swap out. Steals the swap and pulls it back in. Nice little style play there. The Omni Slash comes out. Not nearly enough damage, but a good Burrow Strike. And the Epicenter is going to bring down Liquid. Three dead, and that was the high priority kill onto Ember they needed. By Manta Splitting, you can get out of the Searing Chains with Manta Split, and you can also prevent a lot of the damage from Terror Blade. Oh, really good play there. They relocate out the Ember, though, and it was well set up because now the rest of Liquid is coming in from the south. They've stunned up the Medusa. Does manage to get the ulti off the Epicenter out as well, connecting onto several, and it looks like they're not all dropping super low. They get the relocate back and away by the IO, so gonna be fine for the moment. The only one dead so far is the Ventral Spirit. Looks like Sam H is gonna be run down by Miracle. That's a double for him, and Remnant to chase, but, but it looks like he should be okay for the moment as Raven gets a lucky invisor in there and still taking the damage from Io. Oh, another one. Can he quite find it? <laughs> Raven just sits, wants to stay pretty close to this point. He finds it! He ends up getting a resummoning to the spirits. Oh my god, that was GH. Okay, that was ridiculously good wisp play. So it, it doesn't even matter really. And now they're going to take the fight to the side of TNC. Cuckoo is on the low ground. They're moving in. Sam H, is he going to get Burrow struck? And not able to use it because of that route. He dropped so quickly. And Cuckoo 
going to be swapped out. Rior just trying to make sure he doesn't get there, but they're going to relocate in. Miracle looking for some more kills. He is going to be stunned for the moment, and they're still going to be able to run down that Venge. Miracle continuing the chase now for Raven, but it has just gone from bad to worse. Well, we're walking up here now. Might need to pop the Stone Gaze potentially. It's a hell of a lot of damage onto this Tier 3 in the top lane. And, well, Cuckoo spots out that swap. They're going to swap him back in. This is a good way to start it. Stun lock for the moment. They still have that Stone Form dropping really low with the relocate back. GH going to keep him up and alive. They also use the Sunder to be able to bring down the Rubik low and keep that Terrorblade very healthy. So they're forced to buy back on the Ogre. And Liquid are just going to continue. Raven's not even there. My Tumble Man just picked up his health of evasion. And he had about, you know, 28% HP left, so... Oh, God. Cuckoo taking so much damage here. They're already on top of him. A good Burrow Strike. Epicenter isn't going to be enough. A Tumble Man solo. No Sunder. And trying to walk away. He's almost dead. It does look like he's going to be able to walk away, though. Wow. Uh, Cuckoo still standing tall there. Looks like they're going for the wraparound and need to be careful for the counter initiation play that could come out. They're all grouped up together. The epicenter, it's not going to come out as of yet. Sam H going to be lifted and pulled back in. Rior dropping so low, and there's a double kill from a tumble man. Miracle as well, just all over him. Cuckoo is already gone. It looks like Raven also maybe going to be able to bring him down. He's starting to get the right clicks off of mind control. Is, is going to be able to survive through that. They are going to also find Cuckoo. Triple kill from a tumble man. They don't have buybacks on four. Uh, this could potentially be it. Yeah, GG just comes out.